you doing at a popina? Not eating there, I hope. It arrived just after noon. The rider insists on giving the message to you. It appears this woman was instructed to meet you here as well. The proconsul just told me to find you. Said you'd know why. Exciting things always happen when you're around. The message, please. You must leave everything and come to Nazamones immediately. We're in grave danger. And I'm afraid in this case, we refers to both our family and Rome itself. It seems we have underestimated Vitellius Loco. Although the little brother wields no political power of significance, he is the de facto leader of his family. An ambitious man who isn't reckless makes an enemy to be reckoned with. His friendly demeanor masks a molten core of vengeful desire. He still remembers how we dismantled their illegal operations in Asia. And I'm afraid he wants our lives in return. I have reason to believe Lurko is planning something big. My speculatories say he's preparing to remove me from my position in Nazamanis by force and make it look like a local uprising. If he succeeds, Rome is likely to lose control of the entire territory, giving Lurko the perfect excuse to challenge the current consuls. We cannot allow him to go ahead with this plan. I need your help. Reconstitute Legia Wictrix. I know they are still loyal to you. Then sail for Nazamanis immediately. A battle-ready army will be the last thing Lurko would expect. Do not despair. Know that the sun is brightest following the darkest day. See this as an opportunity. If we can turn the tables on Lurko, we can at last expose him for the crook he is. I await your arrival anxiously. Your Patronus and your dear friend, Lucius Lucinius Lucullus. I could not find Calida, but I have brought Bestia. I arrived before any of you did. You are looking good, Bestia. You have recovered from our last fight? The injuries were not a problem, but I still owe the Arena Master for all the damages we caused. It was not settled. They begged us to stop before we leveled the whole place. I will inform the men, but... I don't think I'll be able to leave Rome so easily. Is this about a woman again? In a way it is. Do you remember that sower who approached us at Marcellus Whipsanius's? Well, it turns out she was telling the truth, at least partly. She has given birth to a baby girl. Thanks, I guess. Apparently she tried to escape from Whipsanius, who incidentally is her dominus. The problem is, they're blaming me for it.
Of course I didn't. If I ever decide to help another man sell or escape, I will most certainly succeed. She claims to be the mother of my child. Perhaps she is, or perhaps she just knows Wipsenius and his people are naive enough to believe her. Archelius Wipsenius has a reputation for mistreating his Serowe. Hmm. This may take a few days, but I'm sure we can prove these allegations have no merit. Thank you, Nagate. I will now take care of our preparations. We leave as soon as possible. Be careful, child. Do not worry, Domina. I will make sure we return home safe and sound. Salwete, travelers. Welcome to the villa of Lucullus of Africa Proconsularis. State your identity and intentions. My apologies for not recognizing you immediately. It's been a long day. The Proconsul is currently preoccupied. Please wait in the courtyard while I relay the news of your arrival to him. Not for me to say. You better ask him in person. But orders are orders. Legate, a word? I don't think he recognized you. This doesn't smell right. Something's up. Little things. His armor is a bit too small for his body. He never called you by name. And did you notice how he failed to pronounce the proconsul's full name? It is said he who possesses a deceptive heart sees only deception in other people's hearts. And it is known that women are deceptive by nature. Wow. And that is why you're old but still single, Cineros. Hmm. Well, to err on the side of caution is wise. Finally, some truth in the old man's world. We should kill them all. Oh, well, that is not exactly what I was going to propose. In fact, it's quite the opposite of Killing what I... everyone is the most cautious option. Are you sure you know the meaning of that word? So what if he's rude and his behavior is not proper? Obviously, he's not Roman. Not really. If we will fight, I am ready. I am always ready for a fight. 